What's Trevor Lawrence have to do year three? Where's his biggest area of improvement to make him into that guy? He's already fringe when we rattle off the franchise quarterbacks, the untouchable, untradeable exactly. guys. He's already on that fringe. Right. He's the last guy in, and he's he's got arrow pointing up. What's he got to do to to make it abundantly clear that this is one of the guys in the NFL? Man, it's it's like to me, it's it's it got towards the end of the year of just like icing on the top type of stuff, right? Where it's just oh, all right, yeah, hey, yeah, you're Trevor Lawrence, you know. Make some of the plays you talked about. You're capable of doing that more, right? You know, maybe a little sloppy with the ball still at times at the end of the year. Forcing balls in, just going, ooh, I think I can make this throw, right? We saw that not only in the Chargers game, but in the Chiefs game as well, where there was, a, you know, some mistakes there. But I think it's like nothing major, Mike. It's refining. It's just like, hey, can you take over more in the fourth quarter, right? You know, can you make 45 decisions in a row that are perfect instead of 43 out of 45? Like, can you do that? That's where we're getting with Trevor Lawrence and the way it looked at the end of the year. He, you said it, he's top five-ish, if not number five. He's right around there for the way he played at the end of the year and showed the capabilities of like kind of being a guy like, hey, hey, we're losing. And you talked about the Cowboy game, the Raider game, you know, the Charger game. Get on my back, guys. Don't worry. I got us. He's got a little of that going, and and that team believes in him. So they're not much, Mike. It, it's refining, and it's icing on the cake, like I said. Another example of what it means to a quarterback to come into the NFL and be with a real coaching staff, a real head coach, somebody who can get the most out of you, and what happens when you end up in a bad spot. Because 2021, yep. we didn't think much of Trevor Lawrence because of Urban Meyer. 22, enter Doug Peterson. All of a sudden, Trevor Lawrence is looking pretty good. That's what coaching does. And we don't pin it on the other factors. We pin it on the player. It gets yeah. back to what we were talking about with Mac right. Jones. Right. We pin it on the player when there's regression. We pin it on the player when there's a dramatic improvement. The coaching difference makes all the difference for the quarterback. Exactly. And now we have Trevor Lawrence exactly right. where we thought he was going to be when he emerged at Clemson yep. and we came to the conclusion that this guy is for real. Um, so fill in the blank for me here. The Jaguars' 2023 season will be a failure if they don't what? Ooh. Hmm. I don't want to go as far as like, – if they don't make the playoffs. Like, they're, they should be in a playoff football team. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to be bold with that comment just because I'm like – you know, at first I was like, well, take the next step. They should go to the AFC Championship game next year. Like, yeah, right. Like – I, they have the possibility to do that, but I can't say it's a disappointment that they don't get there. Not in the AFC, like you talked about just a few minutes ago. I mean, it's one superstar after another quarterback in those teams. So they're a playoff team. They got a playoff roster. They got a big time quarterback. You know, it's a disappointment if they aren't in the playoffs. That's that's where I'll start. But yeah, there's a part of me that expects them to have the. The, the type of capability to make a run in the AFC playoffs, not just, you know, get in, get in there. I think they have to make it. I think they yeah. have to win the division to be division? considered a success yeah. this year. Yeah, okay. I, th I think they're good enough. I right. think they're the best team in the division right now. This is their opportunity. You're right. The Titans are in a weird state of flux. The Colts are still re something, yep. rebuilding, remodeling, regrouping. Right. And the Texans are still the, the Texans, Texans and they've got a lot of work to do to get, to get competitive so I think it would be a disappointment and a failure if they don't win the division because it's the worst division in football and they're an elite AFC team you put any of the elite AFC teams in that division it would be a disappointment if they don't win the division so same thing applies to the Jaguars it's it's difficult to view them differently than we have but I've I've made the pivot they are right up there in my mind with the Chiefs the Bengals the Bills and the other great teams in the AFC and if any of those teams were in the south I'd say you better win that division yeah you you better with that division. Fair assessment, Here's the question: Mike. Can they can they dominate that division enough and the rest of their schedule enough that the road to the Super Bowl goes goes through, through Jackson D. Jacksonville? Yeah, right. I know. One seed. One Would se they play one of those home games in London? I wonder. I'm just kidding. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.